if you're ready, we'll Let's get started. All right. Awesome. This is a 12 piece band putting together a 20 plus song <laughs> quadruple album. And you're kind of the ringmaster trying. How do you manage that? Are you a fan of Excel spreadsheets? <laughs> <laughs> I, I kind of was for this. I mean, I, I, I was much more organized for this record than usual because um, there was so much material. Like, and he produced it yeah. and, and engineered as well. He worked on but every day. It, it really was just kind of taking things in small bites, you know, just realizing we had a lot of time. We spent more time on this than we have on any project just because we had it. You know, we had the time. And when it was 24 songs, it just seemed like a lot to think about. When we started thinking of it as episodes, I remember an interview with Ornette Coleman um, who just, he was like, I'd love for someday my music to just come out weekly or bi-weekly or monthly, just like a newspaper. <laughs> That's, so those are things that you always think about. And we're like, why don't we do that with this? You know, my favorite way to listen to a record is a record, an LP. And some of our favorite albums, A Love Supreme or Access Bold as Love or some the fresh. Or, like these records are like 32 minutes long, <laughs> like 36 minutes long. They're not cram as much as you can on a CD. And and then there's yes. an album it's an it's a thought and a feeling and an idea and so we started thinking of the material that way you know the rise and fall and the the resolution and and so once we started thinking of this album in four parts um it really became a lot easier to think about and manage and you yeah. know and one thing about this whole thing too like derek was saying was 24 songs it's so hard to wrap your head around like what song need do we need to work on now like which one is this and and where are we at and honestly it was a huge relief um our friend judd strickland came up with a sequence for us and when he, that happened it really kind of opened the doors for us to be able to focus on each episode and not be so stressed about like where how does it sound where do these pieces where do go, they go? Yeah. all these things and he put a lot of thought into it everything from yeah he, he had a card for each tune with uh time signature, key signature, like where it emotionally falls in the story, who's singing and went full like conspiracy, uh, <laughs> like murder board with yarn. And just, like, his family was like, what is going on? And he spent a long time on it. He, he was like, look, it's probably terrible. You're gonna, it's not gonna work, but give it a shot. No, he and, did a beautiful and, and job. We listened down as a band and we were like, great. There's episode one finished and everyone was like, I would have never thought of that. I mean, I had, I had Hear My Dear as the first track of the first album. Um, but the rest of that sequence on the first record, of, it it really kind of it set us on a path, yeah. which is fun about releasing the four records too. Is uh, a lot of times when you release new music, um, and and I get it, like the fan base, you immediately are like, I don't know about this one. I really like the last one, even though when that one came out, you're like, I don't know yeah, about this one. one. <laughs> I really like the last one. So there's something about this where we, if once you maybe come around to liking it, then the next ones are they're all from the same time and the same feeling. So there's a, there's, there's just a, a thread that runs through it. I, I think it gives people, it, it's nice to have a new record that comes out that feels familiar somehow. Would you ever go back to a traditional studio recording situation after having all of this freedom to stretch out and do it at your leisure? You know, it's, it's interesting. I think it's, you know, they're just pieces of art. So they, they come in different ways and mm -hmm. in different waves and maybe Maybe we'll do this kind of a thing again in the future, but maybe we'll just do a regular album. You know, just don't know. Yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. one of the thoughts was, I mean, we've for years been talking about doing like a, a traditional blues record with Sue or a gospel record or a country record or just music that she grew up singing and playing. And it's like, you know what, after doing something like this, we you can do a three song EP. <laughs> like the next thing can just be <laughs> tiny chunks. And we have a studio. There's no reason we can't record these things and then get them out quickly and then do it again. Like um, may maybe, maybe the next turn is, uh, is a totally different thing. But we've, well, one of the things that's been really nice is after, after this project, which really did feel like a hard reset for the band, like it, it really rejuvenated the group. Um, just up, up, down, inside out, like everything feels different about it and, and kind of new. Um, every, everyone's already talking about getting back in the studio. We had a band meeting just a few weeks ago and everyone's like, so when are we, <laughs> when do we get back in? And that's like, <clears throat> they're all so the, good about and, it. And we're touring hard right now and everyone's still kind of um, excited about doing it. So that's, yeah. that's a good place to be because it's not like it's our first time out here. No. On the road. It's <laughs> no. nice that everyone's excited about it. Like one of the things that that this project made us realize is you can't do something like this if you're touring 200 days a year. It's just impossible. It's an, 
if you don't unpack your bags, you're not home. <laughs> and we go years at a time where you don't unpack your suitcase because you're home five days, 10 days. And we started thinking, we're like, maybe we need to start thinking about this like a farmer would or like turning crops. Like maybe we work hard for a few years and then we take a year off. Yeah. Maybe you do 20 gigs and then you leave all the rest of the year for other projects or this or creating or so we've been this 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 record kind of got us really thinking about kind of the the next 10 20 years of our lives and careers because we up to this point we hadn't thought about it we started at nine or ten years old and when she started and we've all been at it for like 30 or 40 years just blasting down the road and doing up to 300 gigs a year and just going and then it stopped and we were like what are we going to do and, and and then an amazing thing happened you're like well maybe we should do that yeah, more <laughs> there's a more fulfilling way to do this you've earned the right to do that for sure so but... I, we're finally having those uh those realizations i think as a band and you know sometimes it has to be forced on you so there, there were some silver linings <laughs>